today's video is going to be a review on my Louis Vuitton Emily wallet and it's in the monogram canvas with the fuchsia um, button and fuchsia interior. I'm sorry it is very late so you're not going to see the color very well but I will insert some pictures here. So I've had this wallet for a few months now and I just wanted to let you know how I feel about the wallet. Um, I am loving it. It's such a gorgeous wallet and I'm loving, you know, seeing it in my bag. I'm loving pulling it out of my bag and paying for things. Um, I really, really like the thinness of this wallet. And at first I wasn't sure about it, but I'm definitely loving that about it. It's nice that it's not taking up so much room in my bag. So I'll just go over the wallet. Uh, with you all it is the emily wallet like i said the uh, monogram canvas is in pristine condition as most um, canvas items are the louis vuitton canvas is really really durable i find that there's nowhere on the canvas the button at the front is in pristine condition i do put it carefully in my bag but i do you know put other items around it so it could rub off or it could um, scratch the button but so far it's perfect the glazing around the sides of the wallet is pretty much perfect condition it is something that i am worrying about because i noticed on my husband's uh, gaspar wallet it is um horrible at the moment with the glazing it just sort of happened all of a sudden all of the glazing has just sort of you know worn i'm not sure if it's from um, being in his pocket or any of that sort of thing um but it's yeah really horrible i'm really hoping that it doesn't happen to this one at least for a long time um let's go into the wallet okay so um the wallet has a big pouch at the back here another slip pocket here that's you know sort of concealed a bigger pouch here a coin pouch here and at the front there is four card slots at the moment I'm actually doubling up the back card slots and I've noticed that it isn't really stretching it out too much so I've got six in the front here um, but I wouldn't put two at the front and two at the back to make it eight just because I'm worried you know a little bit about the stretching um, but yeah like I said two at the back here and here you know is pretty good and they're just my six most used cards and I found that with the four I was sort of reaching to use another one and I just sort of have it in here and I just sort of want it at the front so I mean it is a really big downgrade on the cards um, not being able to put so many in it but yeah I think it's pretty good just having the six that way I'm, you know, not really reaching anywhere else for, you know, cards that often. Um, so like I said, um, it's all in pristine condition. It's pretty much brand new condition. I do take good care of it. Um, so far there is nowhere on the leather pull either. Sorry guys. So there's the leather pull and the hardware is just as shiny as day one. I guess with everything that I've said, you wouldn't really be expecting that sort of wear at the, I think, two or three month mark. Um, but I just wanted to let you know that it is doing great. I do use all of the wallet. I found that I use the back pouch for coupons and all those sort of petrol dockets all those sort of things that you don't want hanging around in your wallet or poking out and it just conceals them really nicely and in here sorry in here I thought I would keep money all the time but I found that at the moment I've got money in there but I found that um, I like to keep my notes here because it's just easier to grab um, but I do keep some at the back here and it's just concealing it nicely so you haven't got money sort of just hanging out everywhere um, here I'll usually keep most things that I need so it's just an easy sort of grab you know and put it back in you know like cash and you know notes and just all that sort of thing that I need easily and I do use my coin pouch I love using the coin pouch I'm not going to worry so much about you know oh my gosh it's going to get dirty or it is supposed to be used as a coin pouch so I am using it and I already explained about the front card slots I um found that I needed six so yeah so when you buy something new like for a first time or if they've redesigned something like they have with um, this Emily wallet 
um, you sort of find out things about the wallet that you love or that you hate or things that don't work or maybe even like a fault um, with the design I suppose um, with this wallet I found everything is absolutely perfect but one thing and I think it is a fault in the way that they've designed the wallet it is the back pocket here and the way that they have shortened this pocket here I believe they should have kept it up higher because when you close the wallet it doesn't matter how much you put in the wallet once you close it it sort of stops let me show you guys right here and it used to stop down here so when you would fold the flap closed the pocket inside here the back pocket would sit sort of flush over here and it would also fold with the front flap but now when it finishes here if you can see that I find that when you close it it sort of stops here and then just goes straight down so a lot of the wear is you know a lot of the pressure is on this corner right here where the back pocket ends so you know when you're putting it in your bag let me show you as close as I can when you're putting it in your bag you're placing it like this and a lot of the pressure is right here where that pocket ends and I honestly worry about cracking I worry about the glazing sort of cracking and I also worry about this canvas right here it's just so much pressure on that corner and because it's not like a rounded sort of you know the pocket doesn't go around and it sort of folds with the flap it just sort of stops here and it just has so much pressure that even it looks square if you see what I'm talking about it just sort of goes nice and round nice and round and then square so yeah like I said there's a lot of pressure on these corners simply because they stopped that inner pocket right there I just honestly wish it would have continued here so I wouldn't be worrying about this corner it would have just been a continuous round flap but yeah you can see it just sort of sits there and it just goes straight down putting so much wear on these corners so yeah I worry about the glazing sort of wearing there and I worry about the canvas right on these sections I mean you can see the only wear on my entire wallet is right here where the pocket ends it's just a little bit of the glazing let me try and focus it for you guys hang on a sec if you can see okay I've got it <laughs> yes yeah, so if you can see right on this corner here where the pocket ends it's got a little bit of glazing coming off and I think that's just the beginning of the wear that's going to happen in those corners it's just yeah I think it's just a fault with the way they made it so as an overall feeling of this wallet I absolutely love it it is a gorgeous looking wallet it is a beautiful color um, you can't really see it that well at the moment but it is gorgeous and I just love how thin it is it doesn't take up so much room in my bag and I find that the quality itself like the thickness of the canvas is up there with the Sarah I know it sort of seems you know flimsy when you're at the shop but when you actually put your stuff in it the canvas is just as thick it's just I think less layers of you know um, material in the wallet making it thinner and you know obviously lighter than the Sarah I guess I'm just comparing it to the Sarah because they're very similar but yeah I mean the actual quality of it is you know just up there the same as the Sarah and the price point is you know going on half the price or I guess close to half the price so it's you know definitely worth getting um, if you can downgrade to four cards or I guess six or you know carry a card sort of holder or you know place your extra cards in here that you don't use very often it's definitely worth um, getting the Emily wallet I love it and like I said the only thing I'm worried about is these points here but other than that I am adoring this wallet I adore it so there you go that's the Emily wallet if you have any questions just leave it below and I'll definitely uh, answer back to them um, that's all I can really think of uh, talking about this wallet at the moment because like I said I've only had it for a few months um, yeah I love it I love using it and I just love sort of pulling it out of my bag it's a really pretty wallet and I definitely recommend it I really wish they kept the back pocket a little bit higher but what can you do I love the wallet and I'm definitely glad that I got it so I hope you like this video if you have any questions just leave it below and I'll definitely uh, get back to you on them um, thank you so so much for all of my subscribers I'm so grateful and I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time bye guys